Good morning, I think, afternoon. Uh, well, my name is Alexa. I'm from Costa Rica. I'm from Instituto Tecnológico de Costa Rica. I'm going to talk about web accessibility in open access journal. This is a literal research that we made for some open access journals. We like to test the, accessibility, the web accessibility of those uh, journals. First of all, I want to make a little introduction of uh, what is accessibility and the importance of that topic. Disability affects 15% of world population. It's a lot of people that have any kind of disability. Of those, 645 million suffer visual or hearing impairment. This affects directly the use of the web, any kind of of a content or web page. The disability consists an interaction with that environment. Uh, it's because we have our wrong uh, meaning of what is disability, because we said the person has a disability. No, it's the environment that has that problem. Uh, the environment has some barriers or problems that uh, uh, make the people can interact with that environment. Uh, for that reason, we have to make sure that our environment, that could be a building, that could be a website, have to be well done for all kinds of people. The World Health Organization proposed making accessible possible for everybody. Uh, uh, for all conventional system and service, the idea is to make them accessible for people with any uh, disability or not. For that reason, some uh, organizations, such as the World Wide Web Consortium, create recommendations and standards uh, to the web to guarantee the accessibility of the, any kind of site. For example, if you have an e-commerce, you would like that everyone can access your site. Uh, but this uh, idea uh, could be more, um, or could be for other sites, not just for e-commerce like academic sites. Uh, those um, consortium have standards, have the 1.0 and 2.0. Uh, also, the last year they released a new version, the 2.1, they have some different uh, fixtures. And you can uh, go through the site and uh, check those guidelines, are really simple. But some simple things make really big changes in our sites. Um, accessibility must be guaranteed for all, for all. The website must be guaranteed, but it's not the real world. Uh, we can uh, just go through the internet and find a lot of sites that you could access. Just could access that site for, uh, for us and could be worse for someone who have any disability. This situation becomes even more critical for academic uh, sites or academic websites mm -hmm. that have some, for example, a journal repositories that have to be accessible for everyone, for everyone, but it is not the, the real situation. The web accessibility 2.0, the guideline, have three different levels, a level A, uh, there are the most ba basic web accessibility, web accessibility features. that are really basic, but they have a big uh, big difference. They have the double A that are the uh, biggest and most common barrier that you can find on the site. And you, and you have the triple A that are the highest or more complicated feature to solve. Okay, the objective of the test of the little research that we made was to evaluate the web accessibility of pages in open access journals. Uh, because developers, managers, and editors have to be aware of that topic. It's because sometimes we think that accessibility is just uh, a thing for developers or designers, but it's not. Editors and staff have to be aware of that because some information that you put in the site, sometimes is the editor or the staff or your assistant, and it's not the developer and you can make, or you can follow up some guidelines to make the information more accessible. 
the methodology was to find some uh, journals to test. The idea was to test an uh, open access journal because uh, I work on open access journal. I'm an uh, editor of an open access journal. And I, I am on the movement of open access <laughs> for the studies. We found on DOAG uh, 134 journals available on that site that they registered because the idea it was um, official uh, sites and official journals. We made an automatic text with this tool, SourceSite. There are a lot of tools that you can use to make an accessibility test, but we use this one because it was uh, really good. This tool checks the accessibility with those guidelines that I mentioned before, 1.0 and 2.0. Also provide another information like broken links, the page structure, then CIO information. You can use it, it's really, really good. Okay, what about the journals that we test? Uh, we have representation from all continents in minor room. We have more from Europe. Um, uh, I forgot to mention that the journal was for information and technology category. It's because we need a uh, little representation and uh, we can test uh, like 1,000 something. Else. We try to select from those specific topics. We have different representation here. And also, we try to identify if they use OJS or if they use another platform to support the, the journals. And the 58% use OJS system, that was really good. But not all of them use that version 3. That for me is the better, or they have, now have accessibility features. Uh, other use uh, their own development and also use, a, I, I, I saw like Elsevier or something, sites of those, uh, of those platforms. Okay, what about the uh, results? The first, bar I, I took the first barrier because it was really uh, interesting to try to access those journals that have the site in the at the 21, of those journals, we couldn't access. Just try to access the URL. It's just the first test that we made. And we have 21 that have blank page or partial access or no, no access at all. Like a, a page not found, server internal error, this is really critical, and other uh, error. It is, was a very interesting because uh, for me, that I don't have any disability, uh, I couldn't access that information. And this is the first barrier that we found with those journals. And for that reason, we test the other 113 journals that we could access uh, the content and the page and we could make the test. Uh, we have 100% of the journals that we test have accessibility issues in minor or minor, minor, so major level, but all of them have any uh, one or more uh, issues. We found 115 different accessibility issues. It was the different accessibility issues, but most of them were, were in 90% of the journals. But we have like 10 different uh, issues that were in the majority of the journals. We have 66% um, of level A. That is, I think this is okay because is they have a, we have a lot of problems, but of the main minor level. We have 9% just for level uh, AA, and 25% of triple uh, A that are uh, the biggest uh, problems. Sometimes there are uh, issues that, that only the developers can solve because something of the structure of the page or something like that. Okay, I, here I have some representations 
of the issue of level A, because we are a lot, but I would like just focus on the um, most frequency that we had. Uh, the first one, we have the highest frequency that 92% of the journal have this issue. It's really simple, but it's, it's uh, easy to solve. Avoid specifying a new window as the target of a link with target blank. It means that when you have, for example, a visions problem, or, or if you are in not signed, um, when you click on a link and you go to another window, but you don't say anything to that person. Because if, if I, I can see very well, I don't have problem because I see that I'm going to another window. There is, there is no problem. But when you can see and you're using a screen reader, and you don't specify to the person that you are going to another window, it could be confusing for that person to, to have a good read of the site. This is the first one. Because it is not common to put this, but um, it's, really, it's a really big problem. Also, when you have a, a link or an image and you don't put an alt text text, it is really, really common. I think for developer and designer now, People are trying to change their mind, their minds, and, and now they are uh, writing the, um, the, the description. But also we have this problem. When you insert an image, or when you uh, put an, a link, you have to make a description. Uh, you have to use this attribute, name alt text. And you have to describe the image, or describe where the link is going to go. If you are using a screen reader, that screen reader uh, read that description. But if you don't have it, and you have an image with uh, important information or something, and you don't have it, that screen reader don't, can't say anything to, to the user. And it's a, a, a really common problem. Another is that ensure there is sufficient contrast between the forward and the background colors on the page. This is also important because sometimes the editor or the staff is that they use a thing because it's nice. Because I like the uh, forward um, black and the layer is gray. But if you have a vision problem, you couldn't read that information. And it's important that you have a sufficient contrast. For that reason, you have to uh, have a good des uh, design but also made a test of accessibility. If it is looking good, but also it is functional. That is the idea. Um, also is our removing the underline from links, making it hard for color blind users to see them. Okay? And also I'm going to leave the um, presentation if you would like to read the other, the other um, issues. Also, we have the level uh, AA. We have uh, uh, some of them. You can see that in a minor frequency. That is OK. But also, those uh, features or the, those uh, issues are or need, you need more, are harder, harder sorry, to uh, solve. These ones are really easy to solve. The editor, the staff, your assistant could solve that problem. When you see the, um, the issue, when you use the program, the sort side or whatever you, you use, uh, you can see what is the recommendation to solve that problem. And the idea is that those issues could be solved easily. This is what we have for AA. And those are the uh, issues that we have for AAA. Also, they ha we have a uh, little frequency that is really good, but those are the highest. Mm -hmm. or, or we need more um, knowledge to try to solve. Sometimes there are problems for the structure page, or also that the developers can uh, solve. And I have some. Uh, some representation. Some conclusions. 
uh, of that little test is that the web accessibility of open journals is a topic that involves different roles that I mentioned before, such as developer, managers, and the staff. We have to have this in mind in not just uh, a work for developers. The content of open journals should be accessible by anyone, whether or not to suffer a disability. If you have a site that is good for someone with disability, it could be also good for everybody. Journals have to consider people in any country, any age, using any technology. This is important because um, now we like to read an article on the mobile, not just uh, only on desktop. And also accessibility features like screen readers, zooms, and invert colors. Also, it's important to test if our site is well done. If we, if we are like editors and we don't have, or we don't know how the system were made, we can check using accessibility features. Also, developers <coughs> should review the accessibility issues if you are a developer on platform. But also managers and editors verify the basics guideline. And why I say that is because um, we know that OJS3 have accessibility features. And for that reason, we said, oh, am I using OJS3 and everything is done? No. We have to verify if we can make a, another thing to guarantee the accessibility. <laughs> Of, uh, in our uh, journal. And some recommendations uh, from the tests and other tests that we made before is, of course, to use the uh, recent update of OJS3 because it includes accessibility features. It's just to guarantee don't have uh, like developed problems or highest problems. problems. Use a web design that has sufficient con contrast between forward and backward <laughs> colors. It is not just to, it's a, it's a nice thing, for example. You have to ensure that feature. Ensure that all images that include in the website have an alt text text tag include. This is really important. It's because sometimes, in the home page, we put like a, a workflow of the um, um, publication process, and we use an image. But if you don't uh, read and you uh, see uh, the um, page well, or if you are uh, blind, for example, you will use a screen reader, and the screen reader have to describe that um, image, and also. The description, the description that you write of the image have to be a, a real description. I mean, it's because sometimes people write a description of the process. But if someone read that description that you write, did not say anything to the user. The idea is to write a description that say something or describe the image that you put on the site. Is because I, I have seen some, uh, so some descriptions that are really general and don't say anything to the user. Try to do, do not include flash elements like animation and things that are past that don't, don't make um, any, or don't add any important things to, the, to your site. Try not to use it. Or if you use it, don't use to, uh, um, to add important information. It's better to add information, um, that's that, that really important information try to put in, in letters. And uh, to find out, use a sensitive font. It is better for reading. Uh, 12 point size as minimum. This is the recommendation, the general recommendation. Prefer responsive design. And validate in different platforms. It's important that you ensure that uh, the site works in different platforms. And um, test the web accessibility of your journal. If you are in charge of a journal, an editor, director, or something, it is important that you um, test your site. 
it released, so you can write in Google test accessibility, and you have a lot of tools, or the tools that we use in, the, in this study. And you could be, um, and you can uh, see what, if your site has problems and how to solve it. And for future work, we are, uh, we are going to uh, test the pages of the site or other pages because now we just test the home page uh, the like, like like article page or the current issue uh, and we like to prefer uh, test sites using the same platform and to test the articles this is an other world because i'm talking just about the web page and we talk about document this is uh, another another word and when you design, build, and maintain website with accessibility in mind, everyone wins. This is the final. And thanks.